Today I have nine easy clothing hacks to help us petite plus size ladies look taller and slimmer. Hey ladies, it's Kathy and I'm so excited to share these clothing hacks with you today. Of course, wear whatever you want, but if you want to take your outfit to the next level so heads turn when you walk by, you aren't going to want to miss these fashion hacks. So the first clothing hack that I have for you is to wear a column of color. A column of color is whenever you wear one color from head to toe. Your whole outfit can be say all navy or you could be wearing say a navy top with navy pants and then you could wear like a little pop of color in a blazer or a sweater but still you're having a column because your top and bottom is the same or you could have say navy pants a navy sweater or blazer and then your top is a little different color so it just elongates the body and that's what helps us petite ladies to look longer and leaner because whenever you wear say two different colors on the top and the bottom depending where your pants finish that can sometimes cut us in an awkward position if you're an apple shaped body like me where we have a larger belly and that can kind of make us look shorter and wider so one of my favorite styling tips whenever i'm you know going out to a special occasion or a party is i try to wear a column of color and that really helps me to look taller and slimmer the next clothing hack that i have for you is to wear a wide leg pant i have to be very careful here because i have a short inseam i'm five foot four but my inseam is 27 inches so i have a longer torso and I often have a difficult time finding pants that are the right length for me anymore, even in the petite section. I still have to get them hemmed. It's hard to find an inseam of 27 inches. Although I recently have found two pairs of jeans that I'm gonna share in another video that are perfect and I did not have to hem them. So stay tuned for that video. But anyways, I can't really wear a boot cut pant or a flared leg pant because I just find it makes my legs look short and stumpy and it just makes my whole bottom look wider. So what I have found what works the best for me and what is most flattering for my body and for my length of leg is a slim boot cut. And I'm still getting the look of a boot cut but it's not as wide on the bottom and I'm finding that that is the most flattering and you can see by the example where I'm showing you where I'm wearing a slim boot cut jean and then I'm wearing a wide leg pant because I don't have any wide leg jeans to show you but it's just to give you an idea to see the difference and let me know I think that I look much better in the slim boot cut the next clothing hack that I have for you is to match the color of your shoe to your pants and the reason for this is whenever well it doesn't really matter how tall you are it's going to work for everybody it just elongates the leg and say i'm wearing dark jeans and i wear like black boots you can't really tell where my boots begin and my pants end so it just makes me look like i have really long legs and that helps me to look longer and also i like to wear darker bottoms because that helps to hide my more rounder area of my waist area my hips of course still go ahead and wear fun shoes i do and of course these style tips you know you don't have to adhere to them every day i don't but these are just tips if you're going to like a special occasion you want to amp up your outfit i have found that whenever i implement these tips they really do help me to look longer and leaner the next clothing hack that i have for you is to wear proper fitting clothing I know I have been guilty of this in the past because I feel, you know, uh, larger than a lot of women I'm around. I, my tendency is I just want to cover up and hide, but that's actually the worst thing that I can do because it makes me look bigger. And then, you know, we end up looking kind of frumpy looking. So it's actually better to wear proper fitting clothing. And I'm not talking about being jammed into your clothing like you're a sausage. I'm talking about finding clothing that fits you properly, you know, like in the shoulders, the bust, it's the right length. And then if you have, if you can sew, if you have to like tuck it in a little bit, you know, on the sides, or if it's a little big in the top, you could always tuck it in in the top. So it's really important to find clothing that fits you properly. And another 
tip that I have for you is, say you wear an extra extra large, an XXL is not going to be the same at every store. So it's really important if you can find a store where you know that an extra large or an extra extra large is always consistent. That's what I do is I tend to buy from those stores because I have been having the worst luck on Amazon. I've been trying to like ordering clothing so that I can show you more affordable clothing, but their clothing is just so inconsistent and it's frustrating because I can spend days online, you know, going through the clothing and then I get it and it's too tight even though I followed their measurement chart. So I've just kind of got fed up and I'm just going to order from the stores that I can find where the sizing is consistent. If you are enjoying my video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe. So the next clothing hack that I have for us petite plus size ladies who want to look taller and thinner, wear nude shoes that match your skin tone if you're wearing a dress or skirt. Again, say you're wearing a nice blue dress. If you wanna wear shoes that match it, that's fine. But if you wear a flesh toned shoe that matches your flesh color, it's again going to elongate the leg because that shoe is just going to blend in with your skin and you're just going to look a lot taller. I also suggest when you are petite to choose an ankle boot over a long boot. Now don't get me wrong, if you have a longer inseam, you know a long boot might work for you but it doesn't work for me and I really want a pair. I want a pair of equestrian boots but what I have found is first I haven't been able to find one that fits me properly but it, my inseam is just too short and the boot cuts me like right at the knee so my legs look like they're you know a foot and a half long it's just not a good look if i was wearing the tall boots with say a maxi skirt or a dress where the dress kind of covers the boot a little bit i think that would look very good on me but just to wear like tall boots so far i have had zero luck and unfortunately at this time it just doesn't work for me let me know if it works for you because I really do like the look of a tall boot in the winter, but unfortunately for me, I have to stick with ankle boot. The next style tip that I have for you is to choose smaller prints over large prints. How many times have I said, I don't want to wear a palm tree on my chest? Smaller prints kind of trick the eye and the eyes looking at the pattern of the print and not so much as the shape of our body. So if you can find like nice small prints, I find that really helps to conceal the belly area if that's your problem area. You know, if, if you like stripes and you want to wear vertical stripes, I think that can be a really smart look. It's not something I can pull off, although I do have a pair of linen vertical pants uh, for whenever I travel that I think are very fashionable and look good on me. But wearing stripes on top, it's I don't really like that look on myself. And as an added bonus, if you can get like a dark background with a nice bright tiny print, that is doubly great because you're gonna look a lot slimmer with the dark background. This has to be my favorite clothing hack, this one, and that is to wear high rise pants. I know some of you have written to me and said that you can't wear high rise pants for various reasons. Speaking from my own experience, high rise pants look the best on me and by high rise I mean that the rise is nine inches and that is the measurement from the crotch up to the top of the pant. If I wear say a seven inch rise on me that's more of a mid rise so it cuts my belly right in half and then I'm going to get that fold of fat hanging over. I wouldn't even bother to try a low rise pant on me because oh my gosh I can't imagine that would not be a good look because my belly, which is my problem area, would be like hanging over it and it's not a look that I'm going for. I always look for a high rise pant and they're just so comfortable. And again, I'm gonna be doing a jeans video in the next week, so keep your eyes out for that. I have um, three pair of jeans that I have found, two of which are really great because whenever I do them up, they're a high rise. I can wear them all day and for the first time I feel like I'm being held in. My stomach's being held in but it's not like a torture device and when I sit down I don't you know get that cut across the midsection. These jeans are wonderful and I'm so excited to share them with you next week in a jeans video that I have for you. 
And next style tip that I have for you is to tuck in your shirt. And I get it, a lot of you don't like doing that. But for me personally, I find whenever I wear my shirt out, I can look a little sloppy. You know, I don't know what the tuck is. A French tuck, a front tuck, I don't know. I just tuck. And I usually just tuck my shirt in, in the front, and then I'll pull it out a little bit. So a little bit of the fabric is draping over the belt line area. Not that I wear a belt, but you know what I mean, the top of the pant. I like how that looks on me. But if you can find a tuck that works for you, it really does help to uh, make us slimmer looking as well. So really, you know, with any of these tips or hacks, you kind of have to play with them and make them work for you because what might work for one person isn't gonna work for everybody, but they're just little tips and tricks to maybe get you thinking next time you look at an outfit in your closet and you're not sure how to style it or how to fix it so that you can look taller and thinner. Maybe if you just implement one or two of these tips, it will help you out. So I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope that you'll subscribe for more fashion videos for women over 50 and I'll see you very soon. Bye.